Uh, welcome to PAL's first adoption center. This has been an exciting week for us. We're, we're anxious to um, show off the building, but first we just want we want to christen the building. We also want to thank some people. First, Bobby Glover. Uh, without Bobby's generosity and assistance in buying this building, we'd be years away from having a fir our first facility. So thank you, Bobby. And unfortunately, Bobby is out of town this week, so we just um, we'll have to thank him when he gets back. Um, next, I'd like to thank Amy Campanini, our executive director since 2006. When you go inside the Adoption Center, you'll see a plaque on the wall, and it's recognizing Amy, and it reads, Amy's vision and dedication kept the Adoption Center dream alive since 2006. But there's only so much you can put on a plaque, right? <laughs> so, we could have also said her perseverance, I think a lot of you know about that, her natural talent to lead and motivate, uh, her ability to wear many, many hats, and obviously her dedication to save every animal's life. So, thank you to Amy. Oh, and I also thought this is um, almost like an opening show, a Broadway show, and she's our leading lady, so there's some fun. <laughs> um, also, our board of directors. This is a pull up your sleeves, get your hands and nails dirty board of directors. We have been working very hard over the last two years to get this building going. So I'd like to introduce the board to you. Uh, Joe Baker. <laughs> Andy Billison. I'm going in alphabetical order here. Uh, Bobby Glover, who's not here. Kim Malfred. Wendy Schlegel. And Judy Spooner. I'd also like to thank Paul Ludwig of PJ Construction, who is our builder, and he's not here either. But uh, i got to tell you, um, when we took ownership of this building, it was just one big rectangle. And so we did a lot of research on the current trends in shelter design. And Paul was with us in the beginning, and he helped us plan and design this building. And I think you'll see it turned out to be a really high-quality facility, despite the constraints of a very tight nonprofit budget. So we thank Paul. And when you see him this afternoon, say thank you. Um, and there, we want to thank the community because everybody has helped so much, and we'd love to name everybody, but we can't. But I, I did make a list of just the ways people have helped, and it got so long that I even have to read it. Um, so whether you fostered an animal, whether you adopted an animal, worked at, at adoption events, volunteered at the Pet Smart Adoption Room, volunteered, donated, shopped at our Animal House Thrift Shop, helped with fundraising events, chaired an event, sponsored an event, been an advisor, counselor, designed a brochure or ad, helped with decorating, helped with landscaping, wrote grants, assisted with low-cost vaccination clinics, donated veterinary service, participated or volunteered in our golf tournaments or our online auction, voted in our Toms of Maine contest, yay, uh, donated to the capital campaign or donated product or services for the adoption center, uh, painted murals on the wall, or installed shelves or put together furniture. Uh, you've all played a part in this and you can see it's been a community effort. Uh, so now with your continued help and support, we will get closer to our goal of building a community where no animal is left behind. So thank you. And now I'd like Amy to say a few words. Wow. <clears throat> I think I know everybody out here. You've either adopted or you've been volunteering or you've just been so supportive of us for the last four or five years. Um, Pam pretty much covered it all. We have been working round the clock to get this building open. We said a year ago we were going to get open this year and darn it, it's October and here we go. So that was the goal and we're here. And uh, this is a dream come true, not just for this organization that's worked so hard, but we really believe we've created something that's going to make a big difference for animals in our community. So uh, today we're going to put it to the test and we're going to see um, just how many animals we can put into loving, uh, responsible homes and how many we can put into homes in New York and Atlanta and beyond. So I just want to say thank you. 
we wouldn't be here without the community support, without all the volunteers, without everybody who's touched my life and has helped touch the lives of so many animals that we have touched in the last four to five years. Over 5,000, and that's, that's a pretty big number, but we still have a long way to go. So um, I just, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all of you. And um, congratulations, this is your Community Adoption Center. Thank you very much. Who's going to um, break the bottle of champagne? I think Amy should. <laughs>